Good afternoon and welcome back to T3. In today's show, we're getting shook by an ultrabook. Alrighty, so I have the Prestige 15 with me. I had it for a couple of days. I've had a little play around with it, done some light benchmarking, and the bullet point of the presentation is witchcraft. Absolute witchcraft. So the thing with the Ultrabooks, right, and well, in this case, actually an Ultra Blade because it has a dedicated GPU being the 1650 Max-Q design, it's they were made for mobility and battery life, right? That's the intent of building something like this with an ultra low voltage processor. Because when I ran Cinebench, it scored just over 700 quite consistently. Now the 9750H gets 1100, which is, you know, a 30% performance boost. But that in a much bigger notebook, about twice the size, had about half the battery life. I got six and a half hours worth of continuous video playback on this Ultrabook. How? Where did they put the battery? This thing, there's, there's, there's no space in a notebook this slim and light for a battery, especially when there's a dual fan set up on the back and, you know, pushing out the back of the notebook for the cooling. Everything about this Ultrabook is pointing in the direction of designer, and especially Adobe Suite, maybe Light 3D, but for the most part, photographer and, mm, graphic designer on the go, not as a render PC per se, it can render out images and stuff quite aptly and with very low noise, which was kind of weird for me when I did run the benchmarks, it wasn't trying to absolutely lift off of the table, which is quite refreshing, I must say, for something so slim and light. But like the touchpad, for instance, is extra size. Everything has been, that is needed for design has been over dimensioned. And then we get to experience of the product. You know, it's got a 4K monitor and like I say, 1650 and a 10710U ultra low voltage six core 12 thread processor. This particular unit has 32 gigs of RAM, which is quite a lot. So you can do large images and video files and stuff. But what I was going to get at with the experience is MSI software. They've dialed it up again. And this is something that I think they're actually pioneering and becoming a leader in is actually experience with software. Because pretty much anybody who's anybody uses MSI Afterburner as their overclocking tool for GPUs. Their Dragon Sensor, which I've experienced with our test bench, is also very good. Literally everything at the click of a button, overclocking, driver setup, etc. And this is no different. The software on this has been developed in a way that you can control and monitor literally everything from one place and even give applications priority and set the call counts that are assigned to them live and absolutely live and the the thing that i really like about their software is it's not clunky because a lot of these softwares that go in bios application level tend to have a bit of a delay when you use them this is super super seamless it is, like i say it's someone thing that i think msi really pushing forward on more so than other companies. And it adds a lot to the experience of the product because a lot of companies can create something similar. You know, there, there's obviously competition in the market, but where it sort of shone is in the experience of using the product. And once again, that battery life, six and a half hours worth of continuous video playback. So if you're a photographer or something to that effect, you want something slim and light, I mean, it's even got the card reader for it. It's got the USB type C's. If you need those, HDMI out. The audio jack is a three in one as well. So you can plug in a headset with a microphone and use it for conference calling. It's got a little webcam up top if you need people to see your face. Uh, although if you're a photographer, you probably look like I do right now with lockdown hair and you don't really want people to see your face. That's why it's a small webcam. <laughs> JJ. Um, and then you've got the, the fingerprint reader. Like it's, it's, it's a very nice complete package and the software is just, it's more than that cherry on top. It's the icing on the cake. Anybody can make a cake, but it's how you finish it off. All the icing bits and pieces and, and wonderful cashew nuts maybe and some, some cherries and stuff. And that just is where this machine really shone. It is a 26,000 product, but I believe 
it wouldn't be a bad purchase if that's if you need mobility you want some power on the go this kind of package is just completed so much by that software it's just really really good stuff anyway thank you all so much for watching we do hope you've enjoyed this review if you have hit us up with a like and subscribe and we will see you on the flip side